The movie opens up showing Europe, 20,000 years ago, a tribe gathers near a herd of buffalo. The leader, Tao, gives the signal and the men charge toward the buffalo. As the beasts stampede toward them, the men hurl spears to divert their path. The buffalo run toward the edge of the cliff, and most of them fall over to their deaths. Tao son Keta attempts to kill a buffalo, but he instead runs away from it, and the buffalo charges toward Keta and knocks him into the air. The buffalo runs back toward him and picks Keta up with its horn. It runs toward the cliffside, and Tao hurls his spear to stop the buffalo, but as it makes it to the edge, Keta flips off the buffalo's horn. Welcome to Review Recapped. Please help us grow by subscribing and turning on the notifications. It means us a lot. Spoilers ahead. Enjoy. It is shown that one week earlier, Keta and other boys in his tribe were being prepped for an initiation as hunters. Some of the boys fail to make sharp spearheads, but Keta is among the few that succeeds. Afterwards, the boys are forced into a brawl before Tao tells them to stop. He then goes to Keta to tell him what will be expected of him as he steps up to become a leader like his father. Later at night, Tao talks to his wife Ro about Keta, and she feels that he could not be like Tao because Keta leads with his heart, not his spear. The men leave the women and their homes to go on a hunting expedition. Keta is at one point tasked with trying to start a fire, but he cannot do it. On the way, they run into another tribe led by Zai, an old friend of Tao. The two tribes take the younger men to hunt, and they first go after a boar. Tao orders Keta to deliver the finishing kill to the boar, but Keta cannot bring himself to do so. Tao slits the creature's throat before chastising his son for failing to do so. The men continue moving forward. Tao teaches Keta that, if he needs to find his way home, he must look up at the stars, as well as the paint on rock formations left by the ancestors to guide them home. They also encounter a pack of wolves, and Tao points out to Keta which one is the alpha. The tribes then set up camp for the evening around a fire. They are stalked by a saber-toothed tiger that kills a man from Shi's tribe. In the morning, the men leave a rock pile as a tribute for their fallen comrade. The tribes then gather for the buffalo hunt. After Keta is flung over the cliff, he is left hanging on for his life as Tao tries to reach him. The rock he's holding breaks off, and he falls further until he hits an edge halfway down. Tao attempts to climb down to get him, but Sai and the other men stop him, saying it's hopeless. Tao is left to accept that Keta is gone, and they leave a rock tribute for him as well. Tao and his men make their way home, and they part ways with Shi's tribe. Keta wakes up and finds himself still high up over the buffalo carcasses. His ankle is also broken and swollen. He starts trying to climb down, but he knows he is too high. Keta hangs on until a storm comes and starts to flood the chasm below. After a brief hesitation, Keta lets go and falls into the water. Keta is washed up in an unknown area. He relocates his ankle and makes himself a cast to allow him to walk. As he tries to make his way back home, he is found by the pack of wolves. They chase him, and he climbs up a tree for safety. The alpha gets close to Keta, and he slashes at her with his spearhead. Keta waits for the other wolves to leave, and he notices the alpha lying helplessly, still wounded. Despite being weary of the wolf's nature, Keta takes pity upon her and carries her to a cave where he treats her wound. Keta and the wolf, whom he later names Alpha, stay in the cave for shelter. He tries to give her some water and appear friendly, but she growls at him. Later, Keta makes his first kill by hunting a rabbit and eating it and sharing some of the meat with Alpha. When Keta is ready to head back home, he tries to send Alpha away on her own, even having to get aggressive, but she instead follows him back. On the journey back, Keta tries to hunt a boar with Alpha's help. She mauls it, and they feast on its remains. They also have to avoid a pack of hyenas that stalk them. Keta sets up a campfire, and a coyote approaches them menacingly. Alpha walks up to the coyote and nestles her face into his, leaving it to run off without a fight. A heavy snowstorm starts to hit the land. Keta and Alpha are walking across what he doesn't realize is a frozen lake. He sees another pack of wolves feasting on a carcass, and he worries it's Alpha. Keta runs toward them and ends up falling through the ice. Alpha tries to reach Keta, but he breaks through the ice with his knife. He sets up another fire and removes his cold, wet clothes to share warmth with Alpha. As the two continue on their journey, Keta starts to suffer from hypothermia. He and Alpha come across the hut of another man whom Keta finds frozen to death. He goes through the man's home to find food, but there is none. Keta takes the man's bow and arrow, thanking him for providing for him. The two continue moving onward until they reach a cave where the tiger finds them. Keta preps the bow and arrow before Alpha lunges toward the tiger. The two fight until Keta strikes the tiger with the arrow. However, Alpha has been pretty badly wounded. Keta tends to her wounds as she lays by him. 
the weather becomes worse, and Alpha is barely able to keep walking. Keta lays by her as he grows weaker as well. He passes out in the snow and then starts to remember the conversation he overheard his parents having about him. After Ro said that Keta leads with his heart and not his spear, Tao responded that Keta is stronger than even he realizes. This gives Keta the encouragement and push to stand and carry Alpha. Keta spots the ancestral paint on the rocks, and he realizes he is close to home. Sure enough, he spots his tribe. He walks in while carrying Alpha, and Tao runs to his son and brings him and Alpha inside for shelter and warmth. As Keta recovers, the shaman tends to Alpha. To Keta's surprise, Alpha has given birth to a group of wolf pups. The shaman commends Keta and Alpha for bringing new life to the tribe. The movie ends showing that Keta and Alpha are fully recovered, and they are seen watching the sunset with the pups. When they are fully matured, the wolves join Keta and the other tribesmen for a new hunt. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.